Okay guys, here we are again. I'm going to be doing another test on the little diesel heater, the 8 kilowatt eBay diesel heater. I'm going to, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how long it's going to run off of this car battery. This is a pretty new battery. It's about a year or two old and it's rated at 700 cold cranking amps. 875 uh, cranking amps. So what I'm doing right now is I'm charging it. This charger puts out up to 12 amps and right now it's running down. It's, it's charging at 3.5 amps. So when that's done and it says the uh, battery's all full, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a test of uh, cold cranking amps with uh, my battery tester here. This will test how many cold cranking amps it has in it. And then we're just going to run it off the battery only without the charger connected up and uh, see how long it runs. I'm not sure it has this uh, controller it has some electronics in it and it'll shut the heater down when the voltage to the battery gets too low. I'm not sure if it just, once the battery starts to get low, would it maybe it'll cut off the fuel and then run a cool down cycle, which I'm hoping that's what it does. Because it could be really dangerous if your battery gets low and uh, it just cuts the heater off when it's running full throttle and the heater's really hot since this housing to the heater is plastic it could melt it potentially cause a fire so we're going to see what happens when the voltage gets low it has a uh, menu here if you press the ok button it'll tell you a code let's just go through the menu here there's your error codes Right now there's no error code. I know for a fact that error code 1 is low voltage. When I first started the heater up, this battery had been sitting a while and the voltage, it ran for a little while and then the voltage got low and that popped up on there when I first started it up. But what we're going to do is we're going to have this running, running, running. See how many hours we can get out of that battery. Now this is not an RV battery. This is just a regular car battery, so it's not a deep cycle. So this won't be a perfect test, but it'll give you an idea about what, if your RV battery has a, a rating that's somewhat close to that, it'll give you somewhat an idea how many hours you can run this heater. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it at a wide open throttle, worst case scenario. It's going to be running constantly. It's not going to uh, cycle down the temperature, which you can do. You know, you can set the temperature on this to say keep it 60 degrees, and then it'll slow down uh, the blower and the pump, and it won't feed as much fuel in. And uh, I would think it would get a little more battery life out of your battery that way. So, as soon as I get it done charging, we'll start the test. Okay guys, we're getting ready to test the battery for capacity. The uh, battery charger is saying the battery is full now. It ran for a short time, maybe half hour, an hour, at a real low charge rate. So, when I disconnected the heater ground wire what we're going to do is we're going to run a battery test with my speed test tester I have the ground wire on the heater here disconnected so that's out of the circuit. So 
So we're just going to hook this up. Ground wire. Make sure these terminals are tight. And this battery is rated for 700 cold cranking amps. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. I'm going to bring the cold cranking amps up to 700. Enter. It's saying battery is good. 13.5 volts, 650 cold cranking amps capacity on it out of 700. So that's still a very good battery. So we're going to start the test now. I'm going to hook up the uh, ground wire back to the heater. Unplug this. Air tester. So I'm going to just run off the, the battery for a while here. See how much time we get out of it. Uh, the clock, let me get this off the tripod here and I'll show you. Now that I just reconnected the power lead on the back here of the heater, it uh, reset the clock. So it's starting at zero. We're going to fire this up. And uh, we'll give it some time, but that uh, that clock display right there, that'll show the time when it quits. Uh, it'll get a low voltage error, and hopefully I'll be right here when that pops up, and we can see what the heater does if it goes into a cool down cycle, or if it just shuts off. In that case, it'll probably overheat and it may melt this which would be unsafe. I would think it has some smart electronics built into it to run a cool down cycle when it senses the battery voltage is getting low which will show you it shows the battery voltage on this display here battery volts 11 so right now it has the uh, glow plug is running so it's pulling a lot of amps out of this battery and it's drawn the voltage way down to uh, 11 volts. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that voltage. I'm hoping it doesn't. Uh, I'm not sure what the threshold is. I'm hoping it starts up. Yeah, here it goes. It's starting to pump. So it's dropped to 10.7 volts. 10 six I'm not sure what the threshold is to give an error and it'll shut down I'm sure so hopefully there's enough there to uh, get it going but when I started when I did the battery test the battery tested at 13.3 or 4 volts or something like that I have it on the film there but uh, because of that glow plug draws the voltage way down and pull a lot of amps. I'd say it's pulling like 10 amps, 10 or 12 amps. Because when I have the battery charger hooked up, it'll the battery charger will feed 12 amps into the battery at startup. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Once it gets fired up good, I'll show you what the uh, what the voltage is on the battery then. It should recover a little bit. Come back up. Okay, it uh, turned the glow plug off. See, there's no symbol there anymore. And it's uh, starting to fire up fast now. Another thing I did was I uh, set the heater for 35 centigrade, which is the maximum temperature. That's like 90, 95 degrees or something Fahrenheit. So, uh, Check the voltage now. 
coming pretty good now so we'll see how much time to put it back to time display we're in five minutes so far we'll check back see how long it'll run <clears throat> okay guys I decided to do another battery test while I was running just to see how many amps the battery has in it after doing that startup sequence with the glow plug drawing lots of uh, amps out of it so I got to put in here and uh, raise that up to six, seven hundred oh, like amp rating. And run the test. Out of there. Okay. It's saying the voltage is lower now. Still saying 650 cold crank amp capacity, so that's good. So it didn't run it down too bad uh, at startup. I thought it would draw a lot out of it. I thought we'd get a lot lower rating, but uh, it still looks like it's going good. Okay, guys, I've been going through the manual for the heater to try to figure out what the voltage is for the low voltage cutoff. And I haven't been able to find anything in here at all. The only thing I found was it says the voltage would be better if 11.5 to 12.8 volts. Now you can run this in a 12 volt system or 24 volt power supply you can use with this controller. Actually, this is probably an old controller there in that picture. This is a controller I have on mine. So this is like a supplemental sheet they give you. And it has all the uh, newer version of the controller. How to, con how to uh, set it up. And the only other thing I found in here was the fault code description. It says, I get this glare. Under voltage, power source, displays error number one it says raise the power supply voltage that's all i got out of this whole book so i guess we'll find out when the voltage drops to a point where the the heater shuts off right now it's running around 11 and a half volts and let's see how long has it been running 23 minutes let's do another test yeah, so that's the whole the last test I did. I think it was running for about nine minutes at that time. So I'll we'll disconnect the water for a second here, reconnect it, shoot mark it from the dirt up, enter my cold cracking amps of 700. Hit tests. Glare. It's still at 650 cold cranking amps. It's saying the battery voltage is 12.3 volts. It's funny the uh, the display on here is showing a lot lower voltage. It's saying 11.5, 11.6 volts. Not sure why. But we'll let it run for them. A while yet. I'd, I'd imagine it'll run quite a while yet, so uh, I'm gonna come back every once in a while and check on it. Okay, guys, I'm checking on the heater. It's been running for quite a while. It's been running almost five hours now. I've had to put a little bit more fuel in there a couple hours ago. And you can see how much fuel coming down a little bit. Probably about there. And what we're going to do is test the battery voltage. Let's see, let's go to uh, battery voltage on the display here. 
11 point one, 11.2 volts. So what we're gonna do is uh, do an amps test on the battery. I've got the Schumacher speed test hooked up. And we're gonna set it to 700 full crank amps. See if I can get this so a little too blurry. 700. Okay, it's in here the battery voltage is 11.8 and 425 co cranking amps, which we start out, it was uh, 650 co cranking amps. So, five hours, it's gone down 200. And 25 amps. <clears throat> a five hour continuous run. Uh, this is running wide open. I set the temperature as high as it would go. So it would, uh, you know, use the maximum amount of electricity. So far, that battery's holding up pretty good. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll test it again. I'm going to get back to time display okay guys we're getting near the end here this has been running a little over seven hours and I think it's 25 degrees centigrade in here I have it set to 35 which is the maximum temperature and the voltage on the battery is shown here as 9 volts. So that battery is really run down. Let's do a, a test on the battery. My Schumacher tester here. Uh, I won't even... Uh, okay, it, there it goes. It turned on. Put the full cranking amps in there. 700. Test. Okay. So it was, as I said, BDC battery fail. 9.8 volts. So apparently the full cranking amps is so low on that. I've never seen that come up before on this tester. But uh, I can't even test the battery. So I would say it won't be long. This shouldn't run too much longer, I would think. Being the voltage is that low, I thought it would have dropped out by now. I could cut the test off right now. I'm not sure what's going to happen if uh, the heater is going to, when the voltage gets to a certain point, if it's going to automatically shut down or if it's just going to cut off and maybe it may overheat and melt something. Uh, but it's supposed to go, you know, when you normally shut it down by hitting the power button, it goes through a cool down cycle for about two or three minutes. It stops feeding fuel into it, and then it just keeps the blower running and runs the uh, the blow plug. Matter of fact, I, I think I'm going to just turn it off for safety's sake because I don't know if it has enough power to run that glow plug. I'm going to see what happens here. Let's shut it off. I would think uh, you're looking to run one of these heaters. Off a battery that has that capacity, I wouldn't go more than seven hours on it. It's probably better to have a big deep cycle battery and make sure it's in good condition. But seven hours is quite a long time to run off a little battery like that. So let's try powering it off and see what happens. Okay, well, looks like it engaged the glow plug. 
see that little red symbol there is the coal plug. And it stopped. Still blowing. Heat. Hoping it doesn't melt down or something. Normally it has, it blows a little harder than that. So I'm a little concerned that the screens can sort of blinking a little bit too. I was thinking it might not have enough voltage and amperage in the battery to keep that glow plug going. And it burns off the residual fuel that's in the chamber. And then the blower usually blows a lot harder than this when it's shutting down to cool off the el heater element in there. Feels like the pump has stopped pumping. Let's keep track of the time here. Let's see, it's probably like 7.15, 7 hours, 15 minutes when I shut it down. Okay, it just went into voltage error. You see that pop up? That was E1, which is a voltage error. So it looks like it shut off the low plug. As you can see here, blowing a little harder now. So the voltage here, it's at nine and a half volts. I guess when that glow plug engaged, it pulled the voltage down even lower than that. I wish I would have switched to uh, the voltage display when that glow plug was on. So somewhere below nine volts is when it'll kick in an error for low voltage. And I'm guessing it would probably start shutting itself down automatically. I hope it would anyway. I wasn't going to take a chance on it damaging the heater, so I engaged the, I turned it off. So there you go guys. Figure about seven hours if you have a battery that's similar capacity to this one here. It's a 700 cold cranking or 875 cranking amps, which is pretty good. That's a decent sized battery. Still cooling off. The cool down cycle. It's the heat coming out there is just a little warm now. Let's see. Yep, it's got the error. Let's see, there it is, E1, which is a low voltage error. So when you get around 9 volts, that's the limit. I'm not sure if it was ever going to shut itself off, but out of safety, I shut it off. So there it is, guys. Seven. About seven hours runtime without the battery charger on it.